to students' attention. If you see me and you're trying to see what's up, if your pencil sharpened, if you're ready to go to science. Man, I feel like us as parents, we got to be responsible to take our children out of these demonic public schools because what they're programming the youth to be, not, not just the music too, these school systems. Remember, the Bible says to train up a child when they're young so when they grow old, they won't depart from it. And what this music is doing is pushing out, is pushing out these, these young ladies to be prostitutes. Uh, it's pushing out uh, these men and these women too to be the LG, you know, type. Okay, uh, it's pushing out these young young men, these young ladies, to be on drugs, uh, to start you know defiling their body through you know sex at a young age. That's what's being programmed in, in these young minds, these young impressionable minds, and this is going to continue happening until parents step up and leave, leave this system, leave this demonic matrix. We have to take action and actually remove our child from this because don't be surprised when, you know, these, these young generation, Gen Z and the generation after them, if there even is a generation after them, if they, if, if this whole land turns into wickedness. Yo, what's up family? Peace and blessings. This is Mark the Messenger. I want to make a video about secular music. And I feel like this is very important to talk about too. Uh, the picture you're seeing on the right side of me is uh it says learn from david and sal if music can drive out demons it could drive de them into you too as well okay for those who don't know in the book of samuel um god was judging sal because of what he was doing with david and he sent evil spirits from the lord to trouble him and uh david was playing uh, an instrument and you know he felt better and the spirit left him alone so it pretty much just lets us know that the music that you listen to, it could affect your mood. It could affect your day. Um, the, mu the, the secular music, the mainstream, especially the artists who sold their soul to Satan, uh, the music they're pushing out is depression, sadness, anxiety. There's a reason why a lot of people have anxiety. It's not because you're antisocial or, or none of that. You know, Now, it, it's not just only the music. It could be maybe drug use alcohol use or the excessive amounts of corn addiction stuff like that but especially the music too as well okay uh, i have some clips i'm going to show you towards later this video but i want to talk about some of my testimonies too when i used to listen to certain artists like their music and how like for instance right let's say i was at a party and i noticed like the music that was being played you know it was it, was, it made me want to do things i wouldn't normally do uh or let's say like an artist is, is, you know, let's say maybe like I wanted to like not want to smoke weed no more, right? And I would listen to certain music and it would kind of, it would kind of like plant seeds in my mind. Maybe not to do that instantly, but if I'm, if I'm playing it all day, you know, if you're, if you're battling with a drug addiction, right? And you're listening to music and you're listening to music all day. Now, if you listen to it once, like at the gym or something like that, where, you know, obviously you have no control, the music is being played, that's not a big deal. But if you're constantly, you know, getting the Air, uh, AirPods or I don't have an Air Me now, but headphones on, and you listen to that music, you know, an hour a day, two hours a day. Best believe that picture in the right, it's, it, it could happen to you. you. You could find yourself going back into your vomit, going back into your sins because it's programming you, okay? A lot of the time, a lot of these artists, like I said, I'm, I'm going to show you guys a clip in a bit. Um, people don't understand the vibration, the frequency, you know, that's being pushed out in the music. You know, there's a, there's a saying that saying was like the the king of uh, music back in, you know, when he was in, when he was in the fallen angel, when he was an angel still at the time. And he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, when it comes to this music, okay? A lot, the reason why this, I'm not gonna say it's the main reason, but one of the main reasons why the society is the way it is today is because people look up to these rappers, people look up to these R&B artists, like they're gods and stuff like that, especially the youth. Saying it's targeting the youth through these rappers because the youth, they look up, they wanna look up to somebody and there's no real role models today in this today's age because the media, the mainstream media promotes the most satanic, demonic people. And this is all, remember, Satan is the god of this world, so he wants that. He's going to continue pushing, you know, the evil, the people who sold their soul to him, and it's an agenda because these these rappers who you guys who you guys idolize and look up to, the mainstream ones, okay? The ones, you, you should know, remember, because the Bible says that you know a tree by its fruits. You should know that their whole goal is to lead you to hell. If you guys remembered in Travis, the Travis Scott concert that happened, I think it was in 2000. 20 or 2021 one of those years uh there was they they say there was nine people who got sacrificed but there was definitely more 
people who died. And people had, when people went to that concert, they had no idea. They had no idea that they were attending a ritual. They had no idea. They thought they were just going to see their favorite artists perform with their friends, maybe do some some drugs, you know, whatever the case may be. They thought they were going to have a good time, but not knowing that there's many people, you know, that dude was possessed on stage, man. That dude was totally possessed on stage, and, you know, people were unable to see. I want you guys to take a good look at this picture up here. So the left is um, Travis Scott's concert. Remember, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. And remember, Satan has to use the people who sold their soul to him to fulfill his, his will. Okay, There's a reason why Satan came to Jesus when he was fasting for 40 days and he tempted him. And he told and uh, Satan told him, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of this world. I'll give you everything you desire. So as you can see in Travis Scott's concert, his face right there is like an animated face. And they're walking to it to enter to his concert. Look at the picture in the right side. It's a harrowing of hell, okay? So let me make this picture bigger so you guys could see it. Look how it's very similar to it. Okay, remember the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, remember people died. People who died that night, guys, they didn't die with Jesus. So where did they go? You know, I know this is not something that people like to talk about, but they didn't go to heaven. Okay, Travis Scott was responsible for sending them to, to hell. And like I told you guys, these artists, that's what their their mission is. You know, the, like I said, let me make this very clear, the mainstream ones, okay? Because I know there are some people who rap about the kingdom, people make music about the kingdom, so I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people who clearly are of uh, the world, okay? So just pay, please pay attention to the music you're listening to and understand the frequency and vibration that you're putting into yourself because ever since I became conscious of that, I don't, I don't listen to that type of stuff no more. But I want to show you guys this clip of this concert someone shared me. So this clip I'm about to show you guys is uh, very, very demonic. So brace yourselves. And this artist is uh, Lana Derea. I'm probably saying her name wrong. But I remember back when I was in high school, every like emo, depressed, sad type of girl would love this type of, love her music and stuff like that. And the music she pushes out is sad frequency. So they don't even understand, Not I'm pretty sure not just her, but other artists they would listen to similar to her. The reason why they're sad and depressed and emo or whatever, you know, things of that nature is because of the music they're listening to. They're listening to that music every single day. So check out, remember I told you guys, these concerts, these are just satanic rit uh, uh, rituals where they practice direct energy weapons. Uh, demonic frequencies but even though we're bringing this truth out even though you saw what happened at travis scott concert where people died you know um people are still attending it they're still you know the blind lead the blind and people are just too in love with the world this might be the craziest thing i have ever seen so at lana del roy's concert a wave of energy or whatever the heck happened jolted everyone in the so as you can see this is the raw footage She's just playing her music. Everyone's just, you know, look at that. That's not normal, guys. Like, let's play that again. Wait, we got to play that again, man. That's not normal. Going to these concerts in the near future is going to be the craziest thing I have because ever these seen. These are all warning so signs. So at Lana Del Roy's that. concert, like, a wave can't, of can't energy tell me that's or whatever normal, the heck bro. happened jolted you know, everyone in the crowd back just to watch man. the raw footage. And all those people could say it's just like a crowd. Look at that. That's not a crowd. Let's look at this that again. That, that's, not a, that's not a crowd thing wave. I have There's ever no seen. Way that you can talk so this at Lana Del that. Roy's Jeez. concert, a wave of energy or whatever because, the heck people happened talked jolted about it everyone in the, the crowd back in just that, to watch the raw that. footage. This might be the craziest thing I have ever seen. So at Lana Del Roy's concert, a wave of energy. We got to stop supporting wickedness and start supporting, you know, brothers and sisters who are pushing out this truth. Because it seems like these people who work for the devil, you know, but this is this is Satan's world. So they work for the devil and they get rewarded because God allowed Satan to be, be the God of this world. And people could pick and choose. They want to serve God or they want to serve Satan because we know that our rewards are laid up in heaven for in treasure for those who do the will of the Most High. Those who are seeking righteousness in God, the good army, the, the right side of history. And it's just unfortunate that Satan is targeting the youth. He's targeting the children. Because like I said, guys, I have testimonies when I would listen to this type of music and I would find myself feeling myself more lustful. Like, let me know in the comments if you guys felt that way too, where you were listening to certain music and it kind of led you to do, you know, things that you didn't want to do no more. Like, especially when I first came into the truth, when I first started denying myself, picking up my cross, I was still kind of listening to secular music because I thought, okay, like, you know, I could kind of, you know, I could kind of, you know, I should have like, let's see if I could, you know, still listen to it. And God convicted me instantly. He's like, you know, I can't, I can't be doing this because, you know, just listening to that type of stuff is going to open doors. 
You know, I showed you guys uh, what it said in, in Samuel and David, uh, the story of Samuel and David, how, you know, yes, d you know, demons could rid out. If you listen to worship music, you listen to, you know, music that just makes you feel better. You ever listen to some music like, you know, uh, reggae music or something, you just, you just kind of just feel better, you know? You just feel happy and, you know, happy inside or made your day feel better. It's a complete, you know, the opposite too when you listen to music that's talking about, I want to, I want to delete my brother. I want to, uh, rob, you know, pull up on the ops, your own brother, your own sister, your own people, you know? So th this, is, this is highly demonic. And I feel like we as believers, we should not only rebuke this and expose this, but also make sure that we're warning people of the dangers of listening to secular music. So yeah, God, God showed me that a while ago about the secular music. And we, sh we as uh, believers, we should not be listening to that type of supporting that type of stuff. Because like I said, guys, this is a blind leading the blind. All those um, mainstream artists that people look up to, they all sold out. They all sold their soul to Satan, and they're all just doing the will of will of Satan to, send, to try to send as many souls to hell as they can. And as children of God, as chosen ones, we're doing the will of God to try to get as much people to the kingdom to get on God's side of the army as much as we can. So this is a war, a spiritual warfare. Now, you have been warned. If you're going to continue to support these type of people and, and listen to these type of people and, and you wonder why you feel sad, you wonder why, you know, you're feeling the way you're feeling, you know, the negative feeling, you know, when you've been given this wisdom, then that's on you. Okay. So I love you guys so much. If you guys made this far, you guys already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm out. Peace. One last thing. I know you guys are expecting me to react to the whole Doja Cat. I think the song is called Demons or something like that. Guys, I'm not going to play that video. It's just way too demonic. I'm not going to react to that. I don't recommend anyone watch that. So that's just totally demonic. And that actually inspired me to make this video. So please, guys, stop supporting the secular artists.